Michael, he's a little pup. Michael, he's a little pup. Okay. He's a little turt and a little pup. Okay. Look at those little pups. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, they're pups. Floating up pups. So, Michael, what are, are you your thoughts the on the current socioeconomic climate as we approach the... Well, you see, some people have things, and some people don't. Okay. That's really kind of sad. Well, they should, uh, man up about it, maybe. Screw these turrets. Michael, why is Taylor Swift the worst musician? Uh, because she's not. Whoa. Oh, it's Cupid. Okay, but we can all agree that her um, um, role as a champion of the small musician as she profits off of that position is a complete scam, right? Yes. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, I should probably find numbers on that one. Because, um, you know, the whole, like... How she's like, oh, you can't go to Spotify. They don't pay their musicians fairly. <laughs> and True. then suddenly, after Apple says, you know what? We'll pay musicians for the free trial streams. They, you mean uh, musicians like Taylor Swift? Musicians like Taylor Swift who are bound to get plenty <laughs> of... Uh, a lot of profit off of having their songs played. I believe one of the numbers I had heard hovered around several million. Jesus. So, um... Well, good. I'm glad. Ooh, that's interesting. But the funny thing is, is I think... Stop. At least what I've heard is that Apple Music pays less than Spotify. That's interesting, Michael. So... That's very interesting. What we might be able to pull out of this is... Some level of hypocrisy? More like hip hop -cracy. Oh, boom. Pow. Bam. Thank you for releasing. <laughs> oh, Chrissy. Oh, Lord. Jesus Christ. Hell demons. All up in my video game. Um. The problem I have. Yes, okay. Here. Wait, no, no. You gotta go back to this. Here's okay. the numbers. Uh huh. At least Apple pays 58%. Well, Spotify pays 70%. 70% of what? Of subscription fees. Of uh, revenue. Oh. So, I like, know. Apple, and I believe the subscription fees are less. I don't know. But, like, so, percentage-wise... But obviously it's not a clean cut because, um... Like... If I listen to a hundred songs in a month, does that just get split evenly between a hundred different artists? I have no, I think it goes directly to the artist. Which is why someone like Taylor Swift would make a lot more money having their music streamed than someone like Yola Tango. Yeah, like Yola Tango or a band like Cloud Nothings, where they don't have too much of a following. Or at least not comparable to, like, Taylor Swift. Who? Yes. You can tell it's profitable, though, because the Beatles are on there or whatever. Yeah. Or Led sure. Zepp. Zepp's on all of the above. Yeah. Or is it that it's... I don't know if it's because it's profitable, though. It might just be because this is the one that makes the most sense oh, as opposed oh, to... Oh, Jesus. Oh, Lord. Oh God! In oh. You know, because I feel like. Oh. oh. <laughs> it's a metaphor. It's a metaphor. <laughs> That's the longest death. So far. But no, like. Because <clears throat> I don't. Because I think I've read somewhere Spotify was hemorrhaging money with its business model. That's a reason. There's no way to any of this will last. Use Spotify though. Right? I, I just don't see it. Like, there's no way the current, you know, streaming model could possibly survive. Well, everybody was like, okay, so nobody bought CDs anymore. So artists weren't getting money. 
And then they come up with this new model where artists do get money, and people are like, well, artists don't get enough money. But how else are they going to get money? It's not like people buy CDs. Like, what's the... Right. What do people want? <laughs> they just want artists to get money from nowhere? I don't get it. You shouldn't be I taking that into account anyway, because... It's not my job to support artists' lifestyles. Well, I mean, yeah, but they should at least be able to make money for their profession. But they do, they when they tour and stuff. Yeah, but it's nowhere near the numbers they used to get. Well, okay, that's not my problem. That's not Spotify's problem. But that might be your problem if you're a part of the industry that's led to that. It shouldn't... When I look at which streaming service to use, I'm looking at what gets me the best deal as a consumer, and I think Spotify does an excellent job. And I think they're a very consumer-friendly company. And I think you have other companies coming in who are trying to... That was... Yeah. They're trying to... You know, they're going over the edge. I guess you could say. Whatever. They're, uh... I don't understand how this works. When does he turn them into, um, little dudes? I don't really get it. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> These guys are hilarious, though. They're, like, making Dealing noises. Dealing the way. Like, but, oh, Tucker, oh, 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 do you oh, oh, oh. possibly have a certain company in mind when you say this? Well, Michael, it's a little thing called Rhapsody. Oh, wow, that's a name I didn't, uh, <laughs> expect. No. I just mean, like, title? Title is, I feel, Dumb. designed to get more money out of people than Spotify is. And be dumb. And be dumb, but I just mean Spotify, you're not going to improve on Spotify's business model as far as a consumer, from a consumer standpoint, and still be anything close to a coherent business. So when you have something like Tidal, the selling point is not, hey, it's a better deal for you. It's like, oh, it's better for the artist, which is like such a stupid claim to make because... Have they on. ever released like anything okay. about that? Yeah, it didn't amount to much. But Jay-Z said it, so he's an artist. He needs the money, man. Oh god, this game became harder. This is scary. Tucker, you I don't missed have, it. I don't have sparks. Oh god, leave me alone. <laughs> Nightmare, and there's no escape. There's no waking up. Did you know Crash 1 is like one of the hardest games ever? And I don't know how Christian's gonna make it through it. <laughs> no offense to Christian. I... Actually, I've heard that, yeah. But that game's crazy hard. But you could get your mask and have it go ooka ooka, and then you're fine. Or Aku Aku, the evil twin mask. And in the end of the day, it may be hard, but at least there's a two big bags of ice. I don't remember how that quote went. <laughs> You're just quoting a quote at this point. Mushrooms. But no, title is really stupid. It's like a tide, man. It's like the moon is causing water levels to rise. And oh, now we'll Jesus. never be able to listen to Prince on anything else. Except my computer. Or the radio. Or YouTube. I guess nope. he's not on YouTube. Nope. But he's on Daily Motion. Because the internet is apparently going to die. So is what? Prince. He said something like the internet is going to not be a thing. Or, Man, Prince is a crazy person. Yeah, he is. Yeah, he is. Like, dude's talented for sure, but, uh... But he made Purple Rain, which is, like, one of my favorite pop albums ever, so I'm gonna forgive him. Uh, Purple Rain's weird, because it's got, like, songs about, like, masturbating in a hot tub or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> that one's not my favorite. Purple Rain, though. Dude, the song Purple Rain is so... This is a crazy level. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to work through this. I think Prince needs to stop. 
being Prince or? Uh... Um, I think he stopped being Prince a long time ago. Oh, okay. Man, you know what? Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> um, yeah, no, but I still forgive him because I still think Purple Rain is incredible. <laughs>